We all know Minecraft's classic minigames. We have Spleef, Parkour, Bedwars, Skywars, Build Battle, TNT Run, etc. But those are boring, and most of them were released over a decade ago. So I'm gonna make my own games. But before that, we gotta get those creative juices flowing. Which means... We're going for a walk. And I should probably invest in a tripod. Alright, so I've come up with plenty of fun ideas. And I'm thinking of alternating between a single player and a multiplayer game. So, whether you have friends to play with, or if you're like me, don't worry, you've got options. So first up, I'm thinking of soccer. Or football, if that's what you call it. But not your ordinary soccer. Soccer, but instead of using a soccer ball, we use players. You're probably like, Alpha, how is that supposed to work? Now hear me out. One player will be underground riding a pig. The point is, we use slabs for the field, and if you didn't know, you can actually ride pigs inside a 1.5 block gap. So I got my alt online to test it out. Okay, the players above ground each have a carrot, and the objective will be to lure the player into the goal using your carrot. With that said, let's create the field now. No way. It's actually following! This is so stupid! I guess this is the POV of being a soccer ball. <laughs> Alright, so there has to be a way to check which player wins, and that means redstone. It's mumbo jumbo in time. I'm thinking the pig should activate pressure plates. We'll add some repeaters and redstone torches for a torch tower, and these dispensers will launch fireworks. Boom, boom, we'll cover it up with the moss carpet and voila. Did you know that target blocks were added in 1.16 for this very purpose? For the finishing touches, we'll add a design for the football pitch using carpets. Ta-da! But there's a catch. Each player also gets a knockback 5 stick to kick players out the field. It's simple, but pure chaos. Now what are we waiting for? Here's some highlights from my stream where I played it with my subscribers. It was hilarious. Get on the football. Bet. Everyone's gonna be in survival. Alright, we starting? Just leave it in the middle and take your carrot off. 3, 2, 1, go. So... This game is too laggy. Yes! Yep, so Spikey has got the first point. Let's bring it back. Wait, what? Okay, that I guess so I won that point. So it's 1-1. One, one. Go. Come on, follow me. No. <laughs> You're gonna be this pig, so Hornet's gonna get off. I am now the hog rider. Alright, okay, this will be the last round. So you can knock people out with your stick and bring it to your goal. Time for a comeback. It's getting intense. Let's go. Go. Oh. <laughs> it's 1-1. One, one. Wanna be in these events? Join the Discord. Next up is Pot Shot. Have you ever played that arcade game Down the Clown? This is that game, but in Minecraft. So how's it possible? Well, in Snapshot 23W41A, you can now put items inside of pots, and if you shoot them with an arrow, it'll shatter. Oh wait, I forgot I'm on my 1.20 server. So if I switch versions... <laughs> I guess we got no shaders. Okay, now it works. See where we're going? So, each pot will store a unique item that's assigned with the point value. Okay, let's use copper as 1, iron as 2, gold as 3, and diamond as 5. And some pots with nothing. Behold the greatest arcade machine to ever exist. For the type of pot we use, definitely the prize pottery shard. I mean, it's got a literal gem on it. Now let's line up the wall with our new pots. Now how do we make this more challenging? Shrink the area you can shoot the arrows through. We use glass so players can see through it. We should probably have diamonds at the bottom, gold at the top, and iron and copper in the middle, cause they're the easiest to shoot. Let's make a small platform for players to stand in so they don't just run up to it. There could be multiple levels with the distance being the difficulty and perhaps the number of arrows you can shoot. As you saw there, the arrow knocked down the bottom pots as well, so that's a cool trick. Then there's going to be a hopper system underneath that collects the items for you. So if I put it here, there it is. Claim your prize. And of course, we need that arrow block and it has to point down. This time, I get only 5 tries. I just got scammed. Don't mind me. Last but not least, I think we need a shop where you can purchase playing arrows for a reasonable price. Now let's try this again. Yo, what's up Jamal? What's good, my homie? I heard you got that Black Friday discount. Yeah, bro, I'm chill with that. I'll be feeling generous today. My man, I got you with the emerald. Now let's get started. No way, I got the jackpot. That's pot shot. Now let's move on. 
I'm gonna call this game Windstorm. Bruh. This is another minigame that'll be possible in the 1.21 update with the addition of the Breeze mob. These things spawn in trial chambers, and they're pretty annoying, but they have tons of cool features that can be implemented into minigames. Let's start by making a circular platform with copper blocks, but that's theoretically impossible, so I had to use Minecraft Circle Generator Co. Anyway, let's start by building mini TNT traps like this, and adding pressure plates above. That way, when players step over... Uh... No worries, I have a contingency plan. We'll build little glass structures around the platform, then put a breeze inside each one. Actually, I'll change the glass in the front to slabs so they have more room to hit the player. And they'll be locked in because breezes have a two block hitbox. And if we have traps, we need power ups too. For example, a knockback one stick. Also guess what this is? A trap chest. So if the player isn't careful, it'll activate this redstone below, powering this command block. After some minor testing, I came up with this command. So, if a player opens it on accident, they might fall in. Now let's set the ground to void so no one survives. Moyang, you have to be kidding right now. <sighs> so now, if you fall for the trap, you ain't coming back. This minigame is very customizable. We can add dripstone, a speed potion, or whatever players can use in adventure mode, like buttons and levers. Now since we're in single player, I'll be competing against Bobby the pig, Simon the cow, and Hank the chicken. Oh no, I almost fell off. What's in here? Just gotta avoid the wind. Uh... Don't tell me. I'm in last place? Unacceptable. Now, Minigolf is that one game that a gazillion other people have already made. I mean, we have Captain Sparkles, Mr. Beast, some random people, Gurg. His whole channel is just minigames. Let's pass him in subscribers. So, this guy Lombi used a snowball and got 33 million views. Jimmy hit zombies with shovels and Gurg used armor stands. But then there's my version, Ender Golf. Or Golf, please say there isn't a video with this exact same idea from 7 years ago. Wait, no, no, no! Anyway, Ender Golf will be situated inside a 200 by 200 block border with randomly generated terrain amplified. And like our soccer, the ball is the player. But no, you're not being swung into the atmosphere. You simply have to throw a pearl and hope you don't land in one of the death traps. Wait, what? You heard that right? Well, everyone else is like, Use Soul Sand to slow down the ball. I've scattered these death traps around the course. <laughs> these can range from quicksand to wither roses, creepers, and lava pools. So if you land in one, you better pearl out to safety. No way. I actually made it, that's crazy. Or else you'll die. Which means you teleport back to your previous spot and get a one stroke penalty. You may be thinking, Alpha, can't you just run to the goal so you don't have to use any of your pearls? Well obviously, the player has slowness 255, jump boost, and mining fatigue to prevent them from moving or breaking blocks. Finally, the player will have a map for reference and the number of throws here. As we know, the lowest score wins. But explaining is boring, so let me put my aiming skills to the test. Alright, our objective is to make it in 5 tries without dying. We only have slowness and jump boost, as I realize mining is pretty much useless in this game in terms of movement. I'd say we're pretty close to the goal in this direction. So let's chuck our first pearl. That wasn't the greatest throw, but hey, at least there's an opening. Wait, it's taking long? What? How am I this lucky? We just crossed the entire forest in one throw. Let's see, can I make it in 3 throws? Well, I guess it's four then. Bro, I'm literally right next to it. I swear, if I don't make it... That's it. No way guys, I actually made it. That means you have to like and subscribe. Our final game is called Capture the Fish. And yes, I've got a Santa hat now. It's official. Okay, so you might be thinking, Alpha, isn't that a knockoff of Capture the Flag? Well, guess what? It's completely original. And I did some brainstorming for this. So the idea is that there will be this massive glass aquarium filled with water. The game needs at least two players, and there can also be teams. Each team will be assigned a certain fish, whether it be a cod, salmon, or one of the 2,700 variants of tropical fish. At the top, there will be some breathing space, and in the middle is what I call the fish bowl. How does it work? Players just drop off their fish and they'll be transported up the elevator. So the goal is for each team to catch and return as many fish as they can to the fishbowl before the timer runs out. But there's a catch. 
players only get one bucket each, so you can only capture one fish at a time, but we're not done. Let's also add magma blocks to drag players down, a drowned, and one puffer fish. Return this to the bowl, and you get either a special item or ability, whether it's a turtle helmet, a water breathing potion, the dolphin's grace effect, more fish for your team, or my favorite, the sabotage. Kind of inspired by Blookit, but basically, you can choose any team to remove fish from. PvP is off, but if you die of drowning, you're out, and you become a spectator. And since you drop your bucket, anyone who takes it has an instant advantage. Here's how it went on stream. <laughs> this looks pretty cool. Yo. <laughs> this is pure chaos. What? That's me. <laughs> I've never seen anyone wear my skin. We've got Alpha 2, uh, Wembu Copy, <laughs> Cool Gamer, and uh, Christmas Guy. You mean Santa? Okay, Santa. <laughs> Dang, that's a lot. Fish! That's Put them. a lot of fish. And we're done. So whatever you got, I'm just gonna TP everyone. I'm definitely gonna win this. So Air Grey, you're gonna put what you have right here in this chest so I can count it. Oh, a puffer fish. A puffer fish means that you get 10 points. Yeah, so Tussilus is first place. Easy. Hornet is second because 34 salmon is a lot. Air Grey is third and I'm fourth. Release the fish. Also, I don't know how to turn these games into data packs. So I'll be releasing these as maps on my Patreon and Planet Minecraft. 5,000 likes for part 2. Let me know what you think in the comments and tune in next time for more fantastic content. I gotta stop with the puns.